This is Don Dunphy, your mutual Gillette broadcaster. Here is Bill Corum, who will be your commentator for this fight picture. Howdy, folks. Here are the highlights of this World's Heavyweight Championship for the benefit of the Navy Relief Fund. We start with Lewis in his training camp at Greenwood Lake, New York, where he is preparing for this bout with the 250-pound Buddy Bear, the most unusual heavyweight championship contest in the history of boxing. For in this short but sensational encounter, Lewis risked his million-dollar title without one cent of compensation. Never before and probably never again, unless Lewis himself should do it, as a champion donated his entire purse, in this instance around $70,000, in the bright and brave cause of patriotism. But let's have Joe tell you about it himself. Tell me, Joe, how's about this uh, working for nothing? How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not working for nothing. I'm working for my country, and I think that's about the greatest piece of work that anybody can do. Well, I certainly agree with you for that, but you're turning over an awful lot of money. Well, uh, we all turn over a whole lot for this country this, at this time. Yeah, it look like you're having more fun working for nothing than you're working for a lot. Well, I think it'd be loose bring back that I'm feeling much better for this fight than I did for the, and the other in a long time. Joe, uh, when do you expect to go into the service? Well, I have no idea because uh, uh, we had a full off for this fight, and after this fight, I don't know. You're okay. ready whenever they want you. I'm That's ready. Idea. That's right. Have you got any other fight lined up after this? No, I had that uh, speaking about uh, for the Army, but I don't know if it's true or not. Well, well that'd be, Joe. Well, I guess it would be in New York if I uh, fight for the Army. Then you've got to fight for the Maroon Corps, then, you know, too. Well, Navy, Army, Maroon. Well, I get the crazy. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad to fight for all of them. And now in the Madison Square Garden ring, as we wait the opening bell, buglers of the Navy and Marine Corps herald the entrance of former presidential candidate Wendell L. Wolke, who pays tribute to Lewis and Bear. After all, it's no more than fair that Mr. Wolke should speak for Lewis. Joe spoke for him before his big fight in 1940. an example here tonight in risking your championship belt that has literally been won through toil, tears, blood, and sweat. We thank you and the American people thank you. presence of such a magnificent example of generosity can any true American think in terms of race, religious, or discrimination of color. And the you match bear a little over a year ago what you bear I should have said you know, a year ago, I took on a champion, too. <laughs> I didn't win, but I had a lot of fun in trying. And both my opponent and myself came out of that struggle, resolved and joined in the resolution that American democracy shall not alone live, but shall rule the world. And so you two fighting boys here tonight, I know you're going to put on a great show. But when it's over, if any Jap or flock of Japs think you'll be divided in defending America, they'll be very greatly mistaken. Fifteen rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world, weighing 206 and three quarters, wearing purple trunks, the heavyweight king, Joe Lewis. And the worthy challenger from Sacramento, California, 
weighing 250, wearing black crumbs, buddy bear. Now we go with him to his dressing room. Buddy Barry, he's very game and he's a very good fighter. He can take it very good. I thought it would stay down the second time I knocked him down, but he very game and got right back up. But I'm very happy to do my part for the U.S. Navy.